Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're going to look at comparing two managed WordPress web hosting providers. The first one is Flywheel, and the second one is SiteGround. Now, while they look pretty similar on the surface, they have you know comparable pricing structures, and they're at the lower end of managed WordPress hosting. But does one of these come out on top in terms of speed? Let's find out. <music> Okay guys, so before we get into the results of the speed test, I want to go over how I actually conducted the speed tests. Then we can roll up our sleeves and see if Flywheel or SiteGround perform better. So in order to have everything on an equal playing field, I did some research and found out where SiteGround and Flywheel have their data centers around the world. And while they have multiple locations, the two locations that they share were in Iowa in the United States and London in the United Kingdom. So I set up a very basic WordPress website in London on each of the respective data centers with a single 1500 word blog post and three images. I then set up a test client over in Paris and proceeded to run a series of 100 back-to-back -back page speed tests from Paris to each of the respective data centers in London. One last thing I'll mention here is that these tests are kind of, you know, like out of the box tests, meaning that besides enabling the default caching functionality that each of these hosting providers give you, there were no other WordPress plugins or optimizations that I applied that, you know, sets the playing field to be level for each one of these hosts. So let's look at some of the results here. The first metric we're going to look at is the server response time, which SiteGround really crushed it with an average response of just 12 milliseconds. On the other hand, Flywheel had an average response of 57 milliseconds. Moving along to the next set of tests was the time to first paint. SiteGround again beat out Flywheel with 359 milliseconds on average, while Flywheel had 472 milliseconds on average. And finally, and probably most importantly, is the page load time. On average, SiteGround yet again beat out Flywheel with a time of 528 milliseconds, while Flywheel, on the other hand, had a time of 631 milliseconds on average. So across all tests here, SiteGround really beat out Flywheel by a good amount. But in order to make these tests as comprehensive as possible, I proceeded to move the test server from the European region took it out of Paris and moved it over to New York. I then ran the same set of 100 page speed tests back to back from New York to each of the respective web hosts in London. Let's look at the results from the second round of tests from New York to London. The first metric we have again is server response time. SiteGround with an impressive 75 milliseconds. On the other hand, Flywheel responded on average with 159 milliseconds. The second metric, time to first paint. SiteGround beat out Flywheel again with 635 milliseconds. Flywheel, on the other hand, responded on average 711 milliseconds. Finally, and most importantly in my book, is the page load time. Surprising, SiteGround actually lost this one with 1.054 seconds, while Flywheel was under the one second threshold with 920 milliseconds. So. It looked like SiteGround was going to be the clear winner here, but until that last page load time test, Flywheel was able to beat out SiteGround by a matter of 125 milliseconds or so. And that kind of makes it hard to say that, you know, like Flywheel is better than SiteGround or SiteGround is better than Flywheel. But, you know, when we are looking domestically, when we were doing the Paris to London tests, SiteGround was a clear winner. They were able to deliver a page, you know, 15% faster than Flywheel. And then when we're looking internationally, SiteGround performed really well up until the actual page load time. Like they responded the quickest, they had the first paint the quickest, but when we consider the actual page being loaded, that's where Flywheel was able to deliver faster. So um, I'm not gonna say that one's better than the other, but if I were, you know, use like following best practices for hosting your website closest to where the majority of your website visitors are so for example if all your visitors are from the united states then you would want to host your your um your website in new york or chicago or la but if all your visitors are in london then you want your website to be hosted there and if that's the case then i would choose siteground in this case because they were able to deliver the page 
across all page tests um, domestically the quickest versus flywheel so guys that's about it for this one if you have any questions about SiteGround or flywheel or the tests that i ran in this video let me know in the comments below that's what this channel is all about helping you guys get your business your website your blog online up and running through free tutorials so you don't have to pay a web developer or a web designer hundreds or thousands of dollars to do it for you so um, yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you really liked it subscribe to this channel and if you do i'll see you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.